Okay, this, uh, this is a story really about um, my wife who um, has not been able to get health care for the last couple of years. Uh, she's had a uh, pre-existing condition from what we understand and that pre-existing condition uh, happened to be a mosquito bite. Uh, her mosquito happened to carry the West Nile virus and she was bitten um, in July of 2006. She spent a week in the hospital in a semi-coma uh, state. It was very touch and go. Uh, she shared the uh, hospital with another person that had uh, West Nile at the time. And sh that person um, su survived, but it took months and months of rehab. Now, my, my wife didn't have to go through that. Okay, that was in 2006. Um, when the depression of 2008 hit, uh, because of that, which is, we're still in, by the way, um, we both lost our jobs and we lost our insurance with our jobs and so we decided actually my wife hung on a little bit longer than I did and when she got fired um, going out the door they offered her uh, Cobra which was about two thousand dollars a month well you're unemployed uh, we had a, uh, a child in college at the time and so we said uh, and delayed our decision on Cobra and we waited and waited until the very last moment. We had six months to decide our COBRA coverage. And we went to them finally on the roughly the fifth month, and they said, well, sure, we can give you COBRA, but you're gonna have to write us a check for $10,000 for the last five months and the next two, so just give us a check for 12,000 and you'll be covered for the next month. Well, you're unemployed, you got a kid in college. Um, we just decided to fly on our own with no insurance. It was, it was Really, the only, it wasn't that hard of a decision. We just couldn't do it. So for two years, we've been flying without insurance until uh, the Obamacare and the Affordable Care Act came into place. Uh, we registered and enrolled this December. Uh, we've got a very good plan, we think. Um, the, um, the, the deductibles are reduced somewhat through the ACA. Uh, we've got a good monthly premium, but at least we know what our costs are and we can go and, and utilize the healthcare system. And so uh, we're very happy uh, when that screen popped up and it said you had 65 plans to choose from. It, was, it wasn't an emotional moment because we then knew what our cap was and so we could see the light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, we're very much for Obamacare and I know there's a lot of people out there that are in a lot worse situation than we are and they need this care worse than we do and so we're there to help them sign up, get advocated to sign up, and if there's anyone that has any problem with this Obamacare Act, I'm gonna ask them uh, to stop over at my house, because we'll talk to them about it. I also have a millennial son who's 27. He signed up through Obamacare. He doesn't buy into anything about opting out, and he would also be happy to talk to you if you have problems with that. So, um, uh, again, you've got any problems with, uh, if you wanna talk about that, you can stop at our house. Thank you.